This is 25, a quarter century, 25 laps around the sun, and whatever other birthday cliche sayings. So usually I go visit some place that I've never been before on my birthday, but seeing how I just finished literally driving 15,000 miles to go to all the lower 48 states in 84 days, I didn't really feel like traveling this year. Still, to commemorate 25 years of existing, I did something extraordinarily special, something that almost every other person on the planet takes for granted. I took a selfie. And I didn't take it on my phone or even my professional digital camera. No, 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 no. I used a 50 year old camera made out of wood that shoots on film. And the reason why I say taking a selfie is so extraordinary is because up until about 200 years ago, photographs didn't even exist. There was no way for you to know what your ancestors looked like or what you yourself looked like at an earlier age, unless you had extraordinary wealth to commission a painter. Even then, it wasn't until about 500 years ago that painters were skilled enough to do hyper-realistic portraits. So again, we don't know what most of humanity ever has exactly looked like. We have an idea, we know approximately what they look like, but not exactly. We didn't have photographs or even hyper-realistic paintings for most of all humans that have ever existed. And that's why a self-portrait or a selfie is so extraordinary because someone hundreds of years from now can know exactly what I looked like on my 25th birthday. Not that really anybody cares, but if they wanted to, they could. So why not just take this photo on a phone or a digital camera? Well, I like the process of creating the photo using an old wood large format camera. I had to choose the film, load it into its holder, pre-focus the camera without being able to see if I'm actually in focus, take out the dark side of the holder, squeeze the shutter release cable, put the dark side back in, mix some chemicals together, load the film into a light tight container, a dark changing bag, use those chemicals for very specific amounts of time in a specific order, hang my film up to dry, and finally, finally, I can scan my negative. But even then, I have to convert it and edit it to make sure it looks the way it's supposed to look. All of that, for just one photo, literally hours of work for one photo. And that is a sense of creation and a dedication of time that breathes life into the final photo in a way that a phone or a digital camera just couldn't. And now we know forever exactly what I looked like on my 25th birthday. Friends, this is 25.